Hi and welcome to another video. I'm at the Green Woodpeckers today and I just came in and I already saw one of them coming in and feeding the young chicks. So they also have offspring which is really nice. So I hope to really show you what they are up to today. As you know, I'm an expert and that's why I forgot my gloves again on some other trip. I don't even know. I will find them again. And while the woodpecker is gone from this first appearance, I would like to tell you a bit about this location. We're on a rock, small cliff here, in this patch of forest in the middle of Christiansand, basically. Which is kind of amazing. But you sometimes hear some building sites and some people coming through, of course, that could happen. But it's so amazing that the woodpecker found a place here and it looks there are a few different holes in this tree that has been doing this for maybe multiple years already. And nice thing is, sitting on this cliff, I kind of get on the height of the nesting hole, which means I get less sky in my pictures and my videos, which is always great. But I would even nearly say that I'm too high. So maybe after the woodpecker comes again if I have time I relocate to get some more angles to show you this and of course to record it for myself. I'm about to leave the green woodpecker for today and I think we also got already really good footage even though now I was filming b-roll the woodpecker came in and I was without my camouflage and now the light gets a bit worse kind of midday more sun in not clouded anymore so for today I leave but I come back soon and before I leave I want to shortly talk about this because people were asking me if I had a new lens and I have to disappoint you what means disappoint you? I'm still using the 200 to 500, but I got a new lens cover. And this one is from Targopan. It's the Cam Shield. And as you might know, I pa partnered up with Targopan uh, and they sent me, for example, this Cam Shield. And I was glad to try it out because I tried some other options for this and I was never really glad about them. Some you couldn't really manual focus, some you couldn't really zoom, uh, some don't cover the lens enough. So this is kind of what best works in between. When you extend it, you basically have this tube over your zoom. And this one is not waterproof, but it's re water repellent. So we have at least some more weather sealing in a rain situation. And I tried it before and it works kind of okay. but. The other really good adventure here is for me as well as filming goes. You can remove these and you get a really good opening on both sides for the manual focus. When it's like fully extended, I have it perfectly here for my left hand. That's super good and I just want to show you shortly what this is all about since people who are especially asking if I used another lens. and. Yes, it goes a bit over the barrel here, 
not completely over it, but it covers it quite well with this one, and this one is quite, yeah, bulletproof, uh, shockproof for a clumsy person. Again, really good. I can just take this one off for you for a second, and you can see, yeah, this sticks really good. You see it's quite thick, and it protects my lens pretty well. Because under here, you see scratches from the last time I dropped it. So I'm really happy with this so far. And now let's get out of here and let's go back here when the light is better, maybe in the morning. Uh, we have to test that out. I came back now to the green woodpecker nest and the evening light right now is not so formidable but at least it's enough light to try out a teleconverter that I brought with me so with a crop inside the camera still 4k and 1.6 converter 500 millimeters we get up to I think something around 1100 millimeters which is not really artistic for photos at night but for video I think it works really well you maybe have seen it on my video about fieldcraft, first fieldcraft video with the nut hatches. I think that works really pretty well. And yeah, that's what I'm trying right now. And when the light gets less, I go over to without, without the teleconverter again. But right now I think it works really well and I'm curious to see how I can zoom in into the 4K and what I can show you. And probably you're already gonna see it now, but um, yeah. For me, I, I still have to wait until I see the results of that. I think that's that's really great, and it's a lot of fun to be here. It's right now my favorite spot, I would say. more than happy and lucky right now. I had mother and father coming in and the mother was sitting perfectly on the side of the tree in the most beautiful green light. And even with the converter, I think it got a nice shot. I couldn't remove the converter now, of course, but wow. <laughs> that was a pretty nice shot. I'm so happy right now. I have to get into another position before they come back. I think I have a good time window right now. kind of got into the position that I wanted but it's not super easy to shoot from here I'm sitting under the leaves canopy I get some camouflage from that but it's not really easy and the light is nice but complicated in the back of the tree and I'm, I'm getting exactly the backlighting I wanted but I still like what the results I'm getting even though yeah 
course not perfect. But who cares in a way? Who cares? and wait for one more chance because I don't have many more chances anymore. Today is the last day that I planned in for the green woodpecker nest. We've been here one evening, one midday, first time. Then we have been here yesterday morning. And now this is the last evening. And I don't really like to rush these things because sometimes on YouTube it seems like you go somewhere once and then you take all the photos and get all the photos and shots. But mostly it's not like that and I want to really include that in my process that you understand that it's not always and most likely never working like that. And that's why I also want to bring you kind of a diary series about other animals soon, which I'm like working on for a month. And I don't get anything <laughs> most of the time. So this will be the last evening and there are only so many directions I can film the nest from and yeah today is basically that I just want to get one specific photo actually I'm really out for a photo with the backlighting really good at the woodpecker nest and I hope I get that today but after today I think I'm done with this topic with the green woodpecker and then I want to concentrate on other stuff because it's time to move on and use the time as most yeah, effective as possible. Just one last note is that it's like day and night with gloves and without. The woodpeckers are now not even looking a bit into my direction and are, they are not as careful as they were the other days where they would like always suspiciously look in my direction. So having the gloves again, <laughs> having them found again, really helps out a great deal. So keep that in mind, don't lose your gloves like this dude all the time.
Now I was able to get a shot with backlighting, but I'm not sure if I can save it in post. It's maybe a bit too much light and it's so hard to predict when you don't have the animal in the frame. The animal only comes in really shortly and I was sitting there, I had the camera in uh, uh, vertical uh, direction and uh, yeah, the animal was sitting suddenly on the other side of the, of the tree trunk, uh, of the tree itself. And I was just amazed that I got the chance to do this. Even though I'm not sure if it, if it worked out or will ever work out in this position. But amazing uh, that I had the chance. I'm really grateful for the chance to get a really nice shot. I hope you like this video with the green woodpecker. I would be really glad if you give this a thumb up and if you may be new here and subscribe to the channel, maybe you can leave a comment, which is really good for me, helps me out a great deal. And until the next video, bye.